Good evening, everyone. It's your boy G Pack and Chirac. Don't forget to hit the like, the share, and the subscribe button. This video right here, Charleston White tells DJ Academics, Boosie Hitman Marlo Mike had nine bodies, and Boosie the one introduced them to the world before the police even knew who he was. And here's the audio right here. Go ahead, Charleston. Who they are is, is looking at their criminal history, looking at uh, you know, the background that they came from, uh, interviewing their family. Uh, and, and you'll find out that, homie, most of these niggas come uh, suffering from some type of childhood trauma or uh, post-traumatic stress disorder from having a best friend, seeing a best friend. Uh, when you look at Marlo Mike, homie, Marlo Mike witnessed what his mother did when he was like four or five years old, only to grow up nine people. That was the guy who was a That's Boosie, Boosie hitman. Yeah, nigga, he witnessed him. He watched his mama. Get... Uh, You're the first person I've ever heard mention him. Uh, like, I've heard about Boosie. I've never. You, you, I'm watching one of your lives and you mentioned him. And I started uh, Googling him. I'm like, oh, okay. I didn't, it, I didn't because, know because I really worked on that law and legislation, homie. Uh, the juvenile life without parole. Uh, I really worked and partnered with, with different legislations and, 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 and U.S. congressional members to, to get automatic life. In certain states, they used to give kids automatic life without parole for for capital murder, and murder, uh, and not and not factoring in no mitigating circumstances or, or factors. So I worked on that for three years, and so we were successful to get that law abolished. That's how I became familiar with Boosie's hitman being a 16 year old kid because the Supreme Court denied his appeal, so he's gonna die in prison. This kid, well, it, it, and I and I gotta give you some pushback on that. Is it fair to say because when you say Boosie's hitman, it's like it's like you're saying, like, Boosie was with all... And I know uh, y'all got some issues. Or uh, well, well, look, well, 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 Boosie talked about him in a song, homie. How, how, only way we know about Marlo Mike is because Boosie rapped about him. So long before the police ever arrested Marlo Mike for murder, we knew he was Boosie's hitman because Boosie talked about him in a song. I got Marlo Mike in the back itching for a body. He told, he introduced us to the world as his hitman, homie, by way of his lyrics. I got Marlo in the back itching for, begging for a body. So when the police arrest this kid, this kid got Boosie, who's next, on his body. Had it. The kid got Boosie, who's next, tattooed on his body. Boosie, who's next, baby? I'm pretty sure somebody's going to listen. I'm going to listen afterwards. Uh, I, I try not Boosie, to, who's next? I try not to speak what I don't know because it'll make me look like a fool and it'll hurt my credibility. Uh, no, nah, homie, I, I really looked into that case because I work on children who get life without parole. He's a 16-year-old kid with nine murders who got life without parole. It's a kid named Eric Brown who was in who was in Angola with Boosie. When Terrence Gangster said that Boosie, I went and got that kid, Eric Brown. Eric Brown is a kid who I worked before I even met to help get him out on juvenile life, and he's out on appeal because of that. So... I work on these cases, homie. So when I be speaking and advocating for kids, a, a lot of time I'm speaking from a youth advocate standpoint because that's my ultimate. That's what I really do besides the boot online. So when you look at Boosie case, this kid got nine bodies, documented bodies. When Lord you go back mercy. further, you see, okay, this kid witnessed the murder at five years old. His mother, he grew up in a violent Baton Rouge community. He was already diagnosed with mental health problems. He grew up, probably stopped taking his medication, started getting, running the streets. He been, Man, this kid been getting $2,000 for whacking people since he was 11, 12 years old. By the time they get him, he's 15 years old with nine murders, homie. Psychologically, he didn't witness all this. And he's feeling guilty. That's where the confession come in. Then the end of confession is retracted, recanted. Boosie free. This kid appeal was denied by the Supreme Court in July 2020. He'll never get out. But if what I learned was, okay, these little niggas some violent. You do to them what they did to all the dogs that Michael Vick had. So let me paint this picture. Michael Vick had a, a whole house breeding dogs to fight other dogs. This was their whole life. When they arrested Michael Vick and they went in and got those dogs, they didn't lock those dogs up and put them to sleep. They gathered up all those dogs and put them in an environment 
and nurtured, gave the dogs discipline, love, and compassion, and restored them back into their natural state by changing the environment and the conditions. Yeah, what he said. The boy was 16, he had nine bodies, four years old, and watched his mother get killed. So that was going to turn him into a demon. Then he had mental problems. Man, that's a shame. That boy going to die in jail. And Boosie on Vlad TV, smoking reefer, dressing nice, living his best life. And they said allegedly Boosie had him fighting with a public defender. And nine times out of ten, it's just me saying this. Boosie never made him take that case, man. Because that's the only way Boosie free. Marlo Mike had to take the rap. So for all you young guys out here, listen to G-Pack and listen to G-Pack well. I've been on them streets. But thank God no one ever tried to put a gun in my hand because I wasn't a killer. I was a hustler. And all y'all want to be somebody hit man or a hit man for some rapper because he got money and being their entourage, they're going to leave you in jail to die. And that's G-Pack and Chirac and I'm out.